by default, one blender unit is equal to one meter in the real world. This means that when we create a cube primitive, it starts of life measuring two meters in all three directions. And if we look at the size field of the last stops panel, or the dimensions fields in the sidebars item page will see the value given as 2 meters, m being the shortened version of meters. However, if we are creating much smaller or much larger items, we might want to work in other units such as kilometers or millimeters. And those in the US might want to work in the old British units of miles, feet or inches. To set the measurement scale in our project, we need to go to the scene page in the properties editor. Here we'll find the units heading which when expanded, displays the various measurement units currently being used. Unit system is where we can choose between metric and imperial systems. The third option here is none which removes any connection between blender units and real world units. If we've selected metric, then jumping down to the length parameter we can choose units from kilometers down to micrometers. A micrometer, also known as a micron, is one millionth of a meter. If we selected imperial for our unit system, then our choices run from miles down to one thousandth of an inch. Both metric and imperial have an adaptive entry in the length drop-down list. Choosing this option allows Blender to select the most appropriate term when showing the length of selected items. For example, here we enter the width of a cube as 12 inches, which is then displayed as 1 foot. On the other hand, if we set length to inches, then the cube's size would display as 12 inches rather than 1 foot. The separate units checkbox, when selected shows sizes in separate measurement units instead of fractions. To demonstrate, we'll create a cube and set its size value to 2.3 meters. When the separate units box is unchecked, the size shows exactly as we entered it, 2.3 meters. But when the box is checked, size is displayed as 2 meters 30 centimeters. Working in imperial feet, a 2.5 foot cube displays as 2 feet 6 inches. Notice that feet is signified by what looks like an apostrophe while inches uses what looks like double quote marks. The correct terms for these are prime and double prime. The other main measurement here is rotation which can be set as degrees or radians. The mass, time, and temperature are settings which are only relevant when we are using physics to create accurate real-world simulations for our animations. That's a topic for a later video. The options for mass and temperature differ for metric and imperial settings. There's one more option under the units heading and this is unit scale. In theory this is meant to scale the objects we create so we can start off with primitives of an appropriate size. For example, if we are working in millimeters and set our unit scale to 0.001, we do that because a millimeter is one thousandth of a meter, but, in fact, the size of the cube is unaffected, but we run into display problems as you can see here. So, the best advice is to leave the unit scale field untouched. However, one place where changing a scale value can be useful if we require accuracy and are working in units other than meters or feet is in the Viewport Overlays Panel Scale field. For example, if we are working in millimeters, setting scale to 0.001 will mean that the grid and grid floor will show squares that are exactly 1 millimeter across if we zoom in far enough. With the grid settings at an appropriate scale, we'll find it easier to size and position objects. There are only two PDF pages for this short video. As usual, go to the Digital Skills site and click on the Blender button to access the download page.